animation with Maya. We'll start with opening a new scene, Teddy, which is in the hard drive, images, Maya models, the Teddy V101 folder. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make this a little bit smaller, but do keep it open. We are actually going to use it increasingly. The next thing is to not forget to give yourself more frames. Probably 200 is good enough. And then what I like to do is make sure I can see all of the frames all at once by dragging the right handle of the horizontal scroll bar. Zooming in and out with your scroll wheel. Don't forget basics of left click, changing the perspective, and alt middle click for panning back and forth or up and down. So alt left click or alt middle click. So animation. We'll animate one part of the model at a time. Let's start with one of the hands. So we drag over and try to select only the hand. Try not to select other objects as well. For example, there I have two. Try to just select one in isolation. I'll go back to the beginning of the scene and press S to set a keyframe the way things are right now. S. From then on it's click make a change S. Click make a change S. So here I go. Click make a change or two. S to set the keyframe click somewhere else in the timeline, make another change, or two, and S to set the keyframe. I'll go to the end, click, make a change, and press S. Go to the very beginning of the timeline and play. That's playing rather slowly, but when you render that and play it at 10 frames per second or whatever you choose, it'll be the speed that you're looking for. When I go to any other part of the model, like the left hand, or his right hand, again being careful not to select other objects as I had done there, so I'll rotate it around. There I have just the hand. You'll notice down in the timeline that there are no keyframes showing because now we're at another object and it only shows the keyframes for that object. So back and it's S initially, so whenever you start you don't make a change usually, you just press S to set a keyframe. And then I'll just do two this time. Click, change, S. Click, change, S. Now, when I rewind this and play the entire timeline, I will see both animations. But since I have this hand selected, I'm only seeing the keyframes for it. And that, in a nutshell, is animation with Maya.